The whisky industry is one of the largest and the most iconic industry from Scotland, which produces a variety of well-loved and much cherished brands of whisky that are consumed all over the world. But in addition to making whisky, which is the primary product of the industry, you also produce a number of byproducts. The unused barley, which is known as draft, is left as a byproduct. And likewise, at the end of this process, when you're distilling off the ethanol, you're left with pot ale. What we found we could do is by combining the pot ale with the draft, we can make a soup that we can ferment using totally different types of organisms. And they're able to convert that biomass into completely different chemicals. And in particular, biobutanol, which is the world's next biofuel. It's the individuals, the people that have been driving this with the know-how, with the persistence too and the determination that is going to see uh, events such as this uh, potentially transform the way we think about transport in Scotland and who knows the world. This is truly uh, an example of innovation in action on a universal scale. Celtic Renewables has an opportunity to build a large-scale industrial market with its technology in Scotland. The challenge now facing the company is whether to deploy that technology on a rural basis, um, working with small communities and one or two distilleries to make low volumes of biofuel and the other high-value products which can feed into local market, or alternatively to work with a whole cluster of distilleries, taking their feedstocks to generate high volumes of biofuel, particularly biobutanol, which can feed into the whole of Scotland's road transport fuel market. The key ingredient to success is strong leadership, alongside commitment to vision and energy. And I really do think that the Celtic Renewables team has this in abundance. And if I had to imagine a perfect example of Scottish Enterprise's very integrated support, then this just might be it. In bringing the technology to the stage where we've reached today, it's been a very interesting and worthwhile journey for me. But the journey really is only beginning with the establishment of Celtic Renewables as an independent company. This is as exciting as it can be in the biofuel industry to try and bring forward a new technology to commercial deployments. But I'm absolutely confident with the team that have managed to pull together with the backing of the Scottish Government and Scottish Enterprise, who've been behind us from day one in funding the original research behind us. We have a trained Saltair fellow in Mark Simmers to run the company. We have a pioneer of the industry in Scotland in Doug Ward to be the chairman of the company and a sympathetic understanding and stakeholder investor in Donald Houston to help fund the initiative that I firmly believe is going to bring a brand new industry into Scotland and play its pivotal role in bringing sustainability to Scotland.